Well, hey guys, welcome back to Yoda King channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be installing a vehicle specific dashboard accessory mount. It's a Toyota Tacoma third gen USB powered accessory mount. With the right tools, you should be able to knock this out in a few hours. Let's get to it. So this mount comes powder coated already. It comes with mounting hardware, your eight pre-threaded amps pattern mounting points for ease of configuration, a dual 4.8 fast charger USB outlet. You can choose to have the USB-C or USB-A. Also, inner support brackets for superior strength. First thing, get your base plate at this angle, and you want to put it here on your uh, this recess area right near your dash. And then you want to mark with uh, I got a silver sharpie, but um, you can use whatever works. And there's this little slot here is a little bigger than all the other holes. I'm just gonna mark us. notched area here you want to mark this notched area where the wire is going to come through next we'll remove this base plate and you're gonna remove this radial bezel by popping these plastic clips it's got here if you put a little bit of pressure will just pop out easily okay now it's time to break stuff I'm gonna go ahead and drill through all the markings that I put on this bezel three of the markings are gonna be oval shaped I don't have a Dremel so I'm gonna go ahead and just ream it out with this drill bit Now this notched area, it's gonna be for the wiring from the USB. So like I said, you just got a drill bit, just gonna have to use common sense and just ream it out as best as you can. Now I'm going to go ahead and match my base plate to the radio bezel and get those holes lined up. And with these countersunk screws, I'm going to stick these in the countersunk holes. You're going to see that they're going to match perfectly. Go ahead and put your washer, your nut, and make sure you tighten that really snug. So as I put on this screw, I was already anticipating this. It's going to touch that uh, bracket from the clip. Uh, you're going to have to ream that side out with your drill bit. Don't panic. It's just the way this is configured. Everyone's going to have to go through this.
I'm going to grab this bracket that looks like an S and I'm going to put it in this middle hole with my 3 quarter 8 30 second bolt and I'm going to just tighten this just snug. So my next step is going to be tapping into a power source. I'm going to use the power source to the lighter. In order to do that, I'm going to need to unscrew this. You can use a 10 millimeter socket if you wish. And I'm going to go ahead and crack open this panel just enough for me to remove the panel to the right where my power source is. getting ready to pry this panel open so I can get to the source of my power. With both hands you're going to want to apply pressure. Now this feels flimsy. Um, it seems like it's going to break in half but honestly all you need to do is just put a little pressure and it's going to come right out. Now here, this plug to the left, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. That starts the truck. Next step is gonna be pop this USB plug out. Now the next step is gonna be remove the plug from the cigarette lighter, which is gonna be my source, the one I'm gonna tap into. I'm gonna remove that and then I'm gonna fish it through that USB plug. All right, next step's gonna be tapping into your power source. Let's go ahead and ravel this cable that they supply. And we're gonna fish that behind your radio and out through your USB plug and get that into position. Now I'm gonna go ahead and strip back the provided cable about a quarter inch. We're gonna tap into our power source using these posi taps. Now the posi tap is three parts, a central body with an internal metal conductor, a tap probe and a hollow end collar and a U-shaped saddle collar. To use a posi tap, just secure the wire being tapped into the U-shaped saddle collar and screw the central body tight in place. And my power source is gonna be this purple wire. This is gonna be the 12 volt coming from the cigarette lighter cable. And then next, take the stripped end of the tapping wire and insert it into the hollow end collar before screwing tightly onto the central body. And let's go ahead and repeat the same process using your black wire. We're gonna tap this into your neutral, the white, and this will complete your circuit. So 
Okay, now before I start putting everything back together, I just wanna make sure that my power source is working. I'm gonna go ahead and tap into my USB and tap into my ignition plug, turn on my rig, make sure that my gadget is working and bada bing bada boom. I have exercised the demons. Now we know that everything's working. Now we can go ahead and put everything back together. I'm gonna plug this back to the cigarette lighter and start putting the panels back in place. Just go in reverse order. Grab your 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna remove this bolt here and we're gonna remove this bolt here and loosen these two at the bottom. Next step is going to be install these brackets. The larger one's going to be to the passenger side, the smaller one to the driver's side. And this is what's going to hold your base plate in position. Now just use your 10 millimeter socket and go ahead and tighten these. Now I'm going to lay my wire on top so I can go ahead and plug that into my USB. Now it's time to slide your bezel and remember that notch that we reamed out for this radio bezel. Now that wire is going to fit right in there ever so perfectly. Now I'm just gonna make sure that my holes are lining up with the brackets that were just installed. Next step, the remaining brackets are gonna be installed. This is gonna be holding your top plate in position. Uh, the Z looking one's gonna go to the driver's side and then the other to the passenger side. Now we're gonna leave these a little loose because we're going to have to go ahead and align these with the top plate. Once you get them aligned, then we can go ahead and tighten them up. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and connect my USB. Next step, put on the top plate, tighten it up. Now there is a small little piece of equipment that comes with this mount for added stability. At the time I did not put it, I didn't think I was gonna need it. But if you keep watching the video, you'll hear why. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and install these Ram diamond plates. They're about $7.99. And also I will be adding some Ram composite short double socket arm for these uh, diamond plates. And this is what would hold your other mounts for like your phone and things like that nature. So you made it this far and you have all your auxiliary gadgets and you go on a trail and you notice that your iPad and your phone is all over the place. And man, that kind of stuff just, man, gets under my skin, right? Cause you know, you want to videotape good and you forgot one small little detail. This little brass chingadera that Expedition Essentials provides. Now, not that I forgot, but I didn't think I needed it, this little thing. And maybe it would have made a big difference, but this is an added security. This has little brass deal with some teeth.
and it goes between your radial bezel and your dash mount. It'll cinch the plate to the radial bezel real tight here on the corner. And in doing that, it provides extra stability. Now, had I known that, I would have taken this whole dash apart again, like I'm gonna do right now, and I'm gonna show you. And I would have just drilled for this. But because it was just a little too much, I go, ah, you know, it's gonna be fine. I didn't think it was gonna be all that bouncy. And you know, sometimes I get a little lazy and man, it bit me in the butt. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off and I'm gonna show you how to drill for this. It's gonna be super easy. Let's get to it. So right here, you wanna put something sharp. I'm gonna use a screwdriver and there is uh, a hole and then a, another hole there with a little bracket slot. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. Then we're gonna take these three screws off, one, two, and three to remove this plate. take these two brackets completely off. Next step, we're gonna remove the radial bezel and again, added pressure should come right off. Now grab your seven and 32nd inch bit and go ahead and do your drilling. And with my channel locks, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that brass insert to the bottom. And now I'm gonna put everything back in reverse order. So now you're gonna go ahead and install the bolt you're gonna use for that brass insert. Here I'm using my own bolt, but they do supply one for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and land that first and screw that down just snug uh, enough where I can move this plate around and realign my holes with all the other brackets. Uh, it is a challenge, but believe me, you'll get there slowly but surely. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite mods for the interior because like Voltron, this forms the head. This brings all of your electrical components together, front and center, at arm's length. Whatever you need should be right in front of you, period. I'm definitely gonna run this back and do a fair and honest review on how functional this is, how safe this is to use while driving, and how practical it is. This was definitely one of the easier and fun mods I've done and one that changes the look of your interior because you go from a square to like swag status. It sort of gives you that look like you're about to shoot to the moon. I don't know, what are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. Hope you liked this video, peace.